Okay, we have North Texas head coach Joey Mitchell and student athlete Anisha George, and we will begin with an opening statement from Coach. Um, well, what I just told our team uh, is basically that we, we waited too late. You know, I thought we played the fourth quarter the way we wanted to play the entire 40 minutes. Um, there was some frustration, I thought, in the, in the first, um, first half, some, some settling, some defensive mistakes. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're still down four, uh, down just four at the half. So we had an opportunity uh, really to make some plays and, and to uh, cut that lead and even take the lead, I thought, coming out of halftime. And uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't think we came out with what we came out with in the fourth quarter. Uh, the third... Um, looking at it, it was our worst offensively and defensively, and um, you you just can't um, you can't be okay with um, you know the things that we talked about in, in halftime was uh, just I don't think we put that on the floor. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't think that we um, I thought we still got uh, got upset. I thought we still settled. I thought we still uh, gave them room to to advance and to increase their lead. Um, they won the rebounds, which is something that we we take pride in. Um, they got to the to free to the free throw line more, um, so it makes them you know seem like the more aggressive team uh, again I thought we waited too late to attack them the way we really wanted to for 40 minutes and I don't know if that's you know some of it is just youth and not being it on this stage and not being uh, in this moment um, you know if if so then I hope that this was a great learning experience for them uh, out of our eight on that bench we have three freshmen who've been playing uh, a ton of minutes for us all year long and so um, it, it's uh, every game honestly is is a learning experience every situation is a learning experience um, I want them to um, take it and, and build on it and, and grow from it and um, learn everything that there is to learn. Number one is you got to play 40 minutes. You got to fight like heck for 40 minutes like we did for the last 10. All right, questions for our student athlete. Anisha, what, what turned it for you guys in the fourth quarter? How are you able to make that comeback? Um, I would say that we realized the time's running out, basically, and like Coach Mitchell said, it's too late then. We should have been fighting for the whole game. So I feel like at the end of the at the beginning of the fourth, we came out playing like how we should have started playing. Didn't get many touches up until the fourth quarter. Did they just do a good job of keeping the ball away from you and from getting it inside at all? You guys didn't seem like you got very many touches in the paint up until that last run. I can't help you with that. I don't know. Anisha, being the only senior on the team, what wisdom have you imparted to these freshmen and these younger players to help them going forward? I always try to tell them to keep going, keep going, uh, continue to play. It doesn't matter what happens. Because even I, like when I get bad calls, I get frustrated sometimes. But I try not to show it as much because I know the younger guards are looking at me, and I try to, to tell them like it's okay. Like keep coming, you know, keep going, keep playing. We need you. Like just keep going. Tell them every time. All right, we'll let our uh, student athlete go back to the locker room and we will finish up with the questions for Coach. Bailey, it's been a season of runs all year mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> You've come back from big leads or uh, big deficits. You've given up huge runs throughout the game, but your team always finds a way to get back in the game. What do you credit that tenacity to? Well, we, we have a group, honestly, that, that loves the game. We have a, a group of fighters. We have a group of believers. Uh, no matter what the score was today, they still believe that we could come back and win. Um, that's one thing I, I feel like that's that's kept us. We're very a very confident group regardless of, of what, you know, happens on the floor. Um, I... I uh, I think they've learned a lot about this 
this level of play and and how you know each possession you have to make sure you value it uh it, it's critical that we get the shots we want instead of um, allowing an, uh, our opponents to dictate you know what we do or just kind of being in, in relaxed mode this this shot that you take uh can turn into transition for the other team it can um you know just a lot of a lot of things can can happen in in one possession and i think there there are several uh, especially in that first half that we'd like to have back you know to do something different with them um i i give a a lot of credit to our our eight because um at any point in this season with you know all the injuries and things that we've been through they could have um, lost confidence, they could have lost faith, they could have stopped believing, but they kept fighting. And I thought we came into this tournament playing some of our best basketball. So I am disappointed for them that they don't get to see what this feels like for another day, that they don't get to fight to extend their season uh, another day. Um, but I do believe about this group that it's going to make them extremely hungry uh, for next year and to make sure uh, that we write a different story. Give you guys a bit of problems there. It, it looked like they were able to keep the ball away from the zone, the way they played you to keep it out of the paint. Yeah, that, that's the thing. They weren't in a zone. They were in like a sagging man where they helped off of, of several. But you, you know, I, we had to limit some playing time, honestly, for a couple of us because of just how they were playing us. And it was clogging the paint up for Anisha. It was making it very difficult for her. And I think making her frustrated, to be honest, early. Um, so, Again, that was something we, we expected. That's something we uh, talked through and, and practiced and worked on. Um, and I think when you when you get out there, um, you know, I don't I don't know uh, what became different for them, but I do think you saw a uh, different execution, in, especially in the fourth quarter, which is, again, what we've been telling them the entire time. Like, <laughs> it, it's going to come. And, and there's sometimes we like to play fast, so honestly we don't have all of the patience in the world sometimes. Um, but um, what we wanted to do, um, it works if you can just, just, just stick with it. And so, and honestly, we got some good looks that didn't fall. Um, Summer got some some great ones in there. I don't think, uh, I mean, we didn't shoot it great, and that's part of it. You know, you we've had those games during this year. Also, where you know, moments where we we've had any time we shoot it well, we probably won. You know, but when we uh, when we don't, it's tough. Was it just a tough year for you guys overall with the amount of injuries that you had and remaking the team? Yeah, it's something new every month, you know. Uh, but I think that's a part of it. I think that's where you 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 really see what you're working with. I think that's where you um, really see how you handle adversity, where you really um, see what your team needs to learn and, and grow through and understand about not just the game, but about how they approach every single day, how they prepare um, themselves, their bodies, their minds um, on the court. Um, I, I can tell you probably for our, our freshmen that made it through the whole season, it's it was probably really long for them because, um, you know, it's just that's how it is uh, for a freshman. And um, that's why I say I, I really hope that they took notes. I hope they remember. I hope they write it down. Um, just what it's all about, and I hope that they um, show exactly who the, who they're capable of being in the years to come. Thank you, Coach.